do it's your girl coming through with another video hello my beautiful people i am b hayes if it's your first time here and in today's video we are going to make some more shapes now this shape i made i already recorded it <laughs> i already recorded it and then when i was editing it I didn't like it. I was like talking so much for the first few minutes of the video, and I was like, okay, this is boring. Let me start again. So, I already recorded this video, and this is the shape I made in that video, but I'm going to delete it, and this is going to be the new one. So, um, yeah, and she came out really nice. So, backstory I'm going to make this real quick this time. <laughs> backstory is this is going to be a new segment on my channel because i realized in my store which is lurlox cosmetics if you didn't know links are in the description um in my ads for, for my store i only use one head one shape and it wasn't intentional but there it goes um so after i after i like i realized that i realized that when i did my last video on the the look of flow ahead that i have no diversity in my ads in my store so after i realized that i thought this would be a great new segment for my channel to create different heads that i can use for my ads so i can have diversity finally so this is what this video is going to be about like i said i already <laughs> recorded this video this is the shape i made she, she came out gorgeous so i'm gonna keep her but yeah sorry um yeah i deleted it i didn't like that picture so um let's just get started um i'm using this um skin from non-native it was in the previous uh happy weekend sale only 60 lindens is so beautiful so that's the head i used and that's the head i'm gonna use again for this video so let me just take off her wig <laughs> let me just take off her wig um and create a new shape. So this the shape, the head that I'm using um, is the Gin and Strong head. I've never even like I've never even unboxed it. I've never even seen how the head looked like before I recorded the video I did before that I'm not going to upload. Um, so yeah, but she came out so gorgeous. She looks like fierce, and she can take your man. You know what I mean? Take your man whilst like eating a big girl or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying, but she needs to be it. So let me create a new shape. Let me wear it and let's just start again. Oh, this other shape looks cute already. Like the basic, okay, but the side view is disgusting. But you know, I might even, I might just like tweak this. I, I really like how this looks. This one looks a lot more softer than uh, the shape I made before. Okay, so. We put on a new shape and let's get started. Before I start, I should tell you the name of the skin. So, like I said, it's by non native. I think it's called Zaida. Zaida. You know, I can't. I can't read. I'll put the name on the screen so you guys can see. So, it, like, like I said, it was in the Happy Weekend sale. Sixty lindens. You guys missed out if you didn't buy it. You guys seriously missed out. Um. So let's edit shape let's get started like i am not like a shape creator i don't create shapes um so this is like a whole new territory for me um and fyi um fyi i'm not going to concentrate on the body this is the body i created it looks kind of funny now because oh gosh this is the body i created um for the previous video and i'm not going to concentrate on doing a body shape because in my ads i only do face shots so but the hip width needs to like go out further there we go she was looking a little suffocating in the hips department i've never made a skinny shape it's so weird i don't even know if this looks good or not because it's like i'm just so not a skinny person i love a chunk i love i'm a big girl i love a chunky so yeah i don't even know if this body looks good or not because i just i mean i just i have no clue when it comes to skinny ads anyways let's get started 
But I can say like this default shape looks so cute in the front anyways. I don't think I, I, I want to do that much to it, you know? I don't really want to do that either. It's just the side view is jacked up. <laughs> the side view is kind of jacked up. Let's start with the chin. The chin is to come back. It's like it got, it's protruding a bit too far. I think it's just to draw this to go there. Let's see. Chin depth. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh, I know why. See, this is the problem I had before. I'm on black dragon and I'm using the poser to kind of pose me, but that stops you from editing your shape. So what I gotta do is stop posing me. Probably need to reset the skeleton. And there we go. See, I mean, she even kind of looks different. So, yeah, the posing in Black Dragon, yep, there we go. She looks completely different. The posing in Black Dragon, <laughs> completely, I don't know why, I don't know why it does that. And that happened in my previous video as well, and I didn't even know at the time. Uh, so, yeah, like, just like, she looks cute already. She looks, is that the end of the video? It's like, that's it. Like, I'll just keep the shape. <laughs> she looks cute. I don't even need to do that much, actually. Okay, let's see. I don't know, I want her to have like a strong chin actually. So I want to put her chin up a bit more. Chin depth. Oh girl, you're moving too much for me. You're moving too much. I need to get a pose up. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. We've got the pose one. Okay, so let's see. I want her to have like a strong, a slightly stronger jaw. I kind of like that look. Oh, do you want that? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Stop playing around. Okay. Five. I always do my numbers like in the increments of fives. I don't know why. It's like I'm gonna try like not be so anal about that. I don't know why I do that. Should I make a cute? Oh my gosh, what I can tell you guys. Back in the day, oh my gosh, let me just tell you some stories about back in the day SI. Okay, like you guys have got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys have got it so good right now. You don't even you don't even understand how good you guys have it. Back in the day, I don't know, there's, there's always trends. There's always like different ways of shaping your body that like everyone just kind of does and becomes like a trend and then everyone does it so let me tell you let me tell you a few why am i moving oh let me turn off my hair okay okay so let me i'm back let me tell you some like one or two trends back in the day if you're an og sl like player you guys know this okay so back in the day people love the super round face like this like literally the most rounded face you like i don't even know they that used to be the trend back in so having a face so round like this and small i don't know why that was a trend it was disgusting oh my gosh i wish i could pull up pictures but i ain't gonna do that okay wow so super round faces was a trend back in the day at one point Another trend, which I think is still around, but not as severe. Like back in the day, it was severe. The trend, the, and this is the number one trend I absolutely despise, which is the humongous, like tunnel size thigh gap. Now, I understand people like thigh gap, especially if you're a slim person and you like that slim toned type of look and you like the thigh gap i understand that like, i'm not a thigh gap kind of person i don't like thigh gaps at all but if you do that's fine i mean like what you like like what you like um but there's there's like realistic thigh gaps and then there's like what are you doing thigh gaps and back in the day they used to do like what are you doing thigh gaps like the thigh gaps look like a tunnel like you can literally park a car underneath it like it was crazy I don't know why that was such a trend. Everyone just had the most humongous thigh gaps. It looked like the thighs were having an argument 
and they wasn't speaking to each other. Like the third guy was like humongous, so unnatural and so unreal. I don't even, I don't, I just don't understand. So <laughs> that used to be a trend back in the day. Um, what a trend was it? I think it was loads of trends, but it's like I didn't really. There's only a few that kind of stuck to my memory, but those are the two. Those were the two that definitely um, stuck out to me. Oh, yeah. Like this, this type of shape head was like how everyone's head was. Like I'm not even kidding. You. Like this is like their head. I'm like, why? It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. Like back in the day, it was, but it was fun though. People look crazy, but back in the day, so it was it was fun. I had a I must say I didn't have a lot more fun, but because like, the reason why I started SO was to express my love of fashion and photography. Like in real life, I don't have money for like a three thousand pound camera DSLR camera. I don't have access to that like, models and I don't have access to like take trips to Dubai and do photo shoots and I don't have access to any of that in real life but in second life I can be a photographer. I can shoot in Paris one day, I can shoot in Dubai the next day, I can shoot anywhere in the world. I have backdrops, I have I can make different people, I can make different shapes. I have like you know I have access to these things that I don't have access to in real life. And that's the reason why I, I'm drawn to these type of games. Um, and that's the reason why I stay in second life to express my love of photography that I can't do in real life. Um, yeah, I don't know why I got to that topic. But yeah, that's why, that's what drives me. So in the comments, tell me why you started SL. Tell me why you stay on SL. I would like to know. So, um, before I bore you guys, let me speed this video up and I'll be back when I have a little handle of what I'm doing. So, I will see you in a bit. and there we have it i've kind of finished the hair now i've got some hair i've got a choker i've got some different eyelashes um these eyelashes are by Lurlux cosmetics my cosmetic store is called blink um so if you want to grab them they're only 100 million you can grab these eyelashes and um, they're really cute 
I really wanted to make a shape that is like a little bit different. She has like a strong jaw, like you can see. So I wanted to make someone that wasn't just like completely perfect. I wanted her to have like like a feature that stands out. So she has like a strong chin, you know, but she still looks cute and fierce and I like it. So the hair is by Foxy. Um if you're wondering and yeah she looks so 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 good so this is a new shape that i'm going to be using for my ads for my store um, so you will see her in the next couple of uh releases i guess and that's it for this video if you like this video thumbs it up thumbs it up leave a comment subscribe do all of that good stuff and i will see you in the next video Bye!